Sound better than usual? We're trying to figure some things out. Losing Salt Lake was a, a heartbreaker. Save my soul. Don't know where to start. Don't know where to go. Gonna leave my cornbread. Don't take my beans. Gonna leave my bed, boys. Don't take my dreams. Feel like I'm drowning in holy water. Just try to get down with the devil's only daughter. She taught me things I still don't know. She came. Oh, my, she has to go. There she goes, boy. Never mind. No light to flash, you know. She's taking her time. She's a devil's daughter. She don't gotta look back. She's like a locomotive. I'm like lying flat. I get off the tracks, boys. You know what's good. I know you want boys, just know you should. And who's next in line? Two think he caught her, all in a fine. She's the devil's only daughter. She taught me things I still don't know. Why she came, oh, why she has to go. She came. Oh, I, she has to go. She taught me things I still don't know. Oh, why she came. Oh, I, she has to go.
I'm like a cartoon. I'm drawn to where I go. These clouds I'm below look like a painting. Sometimes I wonder in the slow mo, like a child being flattened by Batman fainting. You sound silly, but it's true. Actually, most things do. Lord, Lord, I prayed to you. And now here I am. I'm like a cartoon for better or worse, for butter and bread. I'm asking. It's written in a bubble floating above my head. Sometimes it's only ampersands and exclamations. You sound silly, but it's true. Actually, most things do. Lord, Lord, I pray to you. Now here I am. I'm like a cartoon. like a cartoon, dodging falling safes, I heal right away, that's why they thank me, it's all just howling at the moon, and at the end of the day, surrounded by things that say I can't, it may sound silly, but it's true, actually most things do, Lord, Lord, I pray, now here I am I'm like a cartoon You're a natural disaster, a national, unsung hero. Words in the red, belly on the floor. Never ask for nothing, but you got it just the same. Coming out of everywhere. Mumbling God's name Ambrose drum Chasing down that line Sitting on purpose 
I guess you heard. There ain't no more poets. I guess you heard. There ain't no more poets. I guess you Yeah, you're gonna save America. You're gonna wipe clean her eyes. Damn near hysterical. You come to between her thighs. All we need is water. You say, as you go for a drive, but you're looking for lightning. Just to keep alive. Chasing down that line. Sitting on purpose. Losing
Son of the King. All your dreams come true. Only one way down there. Is not two, one wrong turn, is a mighty great fall. When you're young, you do things the hard way. When you're old, you hardly do things at all. On top of the mountain, there's a bucket of gold. There ain't no roads up there, no or oh, so I'm told. Oh, so and the bucket's too heavy, and, too heavy. and your pocket's too small. <laughs> when you're young, you do things the hard way. When you're old, you hardly do things at all. Get answers without the questions too, and you never get lucky. But you might win a few. There's no right or wrong. One natural law. When you're young, you do things the hard way. When you're old, you hardly do things at all. Yeah, when you're young, you do things the hard way. When you're old, you hardly do things at all. Another shot of Jameson's, please. Oh, you're good. You're good. I have a microphone, but still, you're good. Off around Muddy River, dark gray sky, out from under blanket shivering, off yellow sunlight. What's this new day hold? Hope it's a surprise. Wipe the rest of my old 
Self-destruction, the same praise for singing out of tune. I only got paid for doing nothing. And then it all didn't happen, so I soon and so soon I came younger. I never found out about me. I'm making a dream now. With it in my hand, I start looking for that river. I can't get mountains, can't count on me, can't walk. To never, never land, can't find a help on me. Just to hold you in its arms forever, dear. 
Now get the other girls, you know, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just out here in my life, but I can't be my own, just keep counting on, keep on. To never, never let me get out of hell, get out of hell, get out of hell. Thank you. <laughs> Every great leap lands in the hand of something greater that you can't understand. And those who think they know don't leap. And those who leap don't know it then. Too long for a bumper sticker, I know, but. <laughs> Should we try it? Yeah, now. Right now, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We better get on the same page first, huh? So on this list of songs, uh, there was one song that I used to do with my band, Amusement, and it was a song that I wrote for me and Amy Curl to sing together. And we alternated lines, and I was like, I don't think I can play this song because Amy's not here and she and her vocals overlapped. And uh, it's Kyla, right? Is, I say it right? You know, I was like, I know the words, I know the words. And I was like, oh, okay. And so she came up on stage and uh, then we both sort of forgot the words as we went along. We nailed some of it and some of it fell apart, but this time she has the words written down. <laughs> And this is a song I wrote called, Spre called Freedom's Tears, and it was on a record that my band The Muse Mint put out. Uh, the record was called Never Settle For This. You can get it on iTunes and stuff like that. It's a, it's a masterpiece, a great band, and this song is called Freedom's Tears, and uh, just, just make some room, because we're about to kill it here. <laughs> Between her sadness and my lust was up. And we in between her sadness and my lust was us. We felt like we felt like we must and we beat at our demons with brooms back to back bound to be bright With a song and a prayer and a perfect plan. But I had not prepared for the change in rules that cast the men like me.
Now as these bombs fall in my heart and blow all that I know apart, can't help but wonder if it started when the poems didn't rhyme. Was it that blank canvas that jacked Rise in this indifferent morn and type these lines, a new day is born. And I thank God that I'm free to write, and my thoughts are shattered. She got the gig. Official member of the orchestra. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm not going anywhere. This isn't goodbye or anything. I know the kids gotta go here pretty soon, but this is our thank you. Thank you for inviting us. Thanks for having us. Thanks for doing what you do. Thank you guys for being you. That goes for everybody. Everything I said goes for everybody here doing what you do for me and you for inviting us. Me, Chad, and Liz. Hippie Fiasco rides again. We bit off more than we could chew. And uh, you can see it in her eyes if you look close enough. But luckily, we got a lot of help along the way. And not only have we chewed it, but uh, it was delicious. We just needed to add a little sugar. We've been going all over the country handing out not only a business card that says we got a lemon, but uh, these awesome stickers that Josh and Erica made for us, designed for us, and sent to us on the road. I got a package in New York City when I was there for a Davis gig. It seems like a while ago now. It does, it's so weird. Same tour, this tour. Yeah. <laughs> the fat king of God. Breaker bones owns everything you see for in the smile. And the talk of revolution just vanished under a stone that the mystic sees trembling and smiles. And watch Liberty's children building prison on prison, saying they're ridding us of violence with bombs. But anyone who goes where the wild wind blows, knows where we'd be without our loving moms. I know that might sound too dainty, still I'd repeat it, for even the slightest truth can never be defeated. And it's a far cry, at least, from the daily deceit that we play, and we play like it's stuck on repeat. That play, and we play like it's stuck on repeat. No leaders to play its cards. Peace may pay its own leader's price. 
But it's too home where it'll be empty as it flows from the bars ringing true like some good advice. You know, people will have you believe that it's naive to believe in peace. That it's naive to believe that you might not have to ever be violent. That it's naive to think that you could change the world through love. That it's naive to think such things. They will. They'll corner you and try to convince you with their eyes and their attention. But I want to say, I think it's naive to believe that you can change the world with a bomb. I think it's naive to think you can make us safer with your guns. I think it's naive to think that some war being fought overseas is making us safer here at home. That is naivety at its finest, at its grandest, at its most ridiculous. That is fucking naive. And I will corner you in the corner, and I will get all tense and weird like you do to me with my peace and my loving heart. Yeah. From the war on this to the war on that, we've just spun the freight fabric of these modern day blues. We're born and rented, pride from our neighbor, and our fears and our fights. They label with years, but what for the child with the dream that comes, that always comes to each innocent part? The woman that says, don't worry, we've always done that which you are about to start. Perhaps destinies to tedious, your tongues wild as these, and freedoms to mysterious. When you go down on your knees, and what's been the downfall of all the proud society? Who knows the words? Let's sing it drunk and lay. I'm wrong, which I know there might be, I might be wrong. I could be wrong. I know that in the life and the philosophy of like a Jesus or Martin Luther King or a Gandhi, so many people that there is no room for that question to be gray. And to think of this world without a Jesus or a Gandhi or a Martin Luther King, don't even try to do Imagine if Jesus has killed a single person in his life. He was a prosecutor. He was from a prosecuted people. His, and the, uh, the people that followed him, many of them followed them because they were hoping they would, he would lead the army to victory. And that's why they got so close to him. Imagine if even just for just once, I mean, they were stoning that woman. He had to kill one of them. I mean, what if Jesus had killed somebody? Oh my God. <laughs> Can you imagine how much more violence there is? I'd, I'd be shooting people that are annoying me right now, I think. <laughs> Man, praise Jesus. <laughs> it's a very big world, such a little boy. Mercy Mary shared. I hate when I get on my soapbox. Now my blood is all rushed to my face, that peculiar thing that happens in nature, nature when you don't want anyone to look at you and uh, so your face turns bright red. That's, that's nature's way of saying don't look at me, I guess. Biology out. It's funny, I feel really weird after I get on my soapbox in a state of conviction or a belief. And I also feel equally weird if I go to bed at night knowing I had a microphone in my hand and I didn't say one word for the injustice, for the for the imprisoned, for the for the you know, for the people that are being fucked up the butt. <clears throat> oh, wait. Whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. There is no easy way to say it. And I'm not 
not talking about the ones that are being willingly granted. Don't, don't get me, now I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I feel better now. <laughs> there's no easy way to say it. No way to say it right. We'll be talking all day. Lead them to the night. In the morning, we'll come to see the light. But if you know what? Cause I love you. It's A. And it's growing too. It makes me want to grow old. For the first time with you. So let's have it. Come on, let's be true. Both got a few. Cause we're both of us missing things the other need. We're both of us twisting some nights in our sleep. We're both of us finding sometimes it hard. Work with the listener books. Sometimes even a deep. But if I know something, just give the devil's voice. But choose thy love. Love thy choice. And then no matter the army's doubt deploys, we'll fight together, win our joys, we'll fight together, win our joys. It's funny uh, how, like, you suddenly find yourself in these interesting positions. And, uh, you know, we at Hippie Fiasco Rides again, we, we've been doing this uh, webcast and traveling the country and playing spontaneous shows in people's houses and all this kind of stuff, going to festivals and always trying to be where the action is. And, like, we'll drive, we drove 20 hours out of our way, so we were at Jazz Fest because that's where the action was. We're, every day we were exhausted, weary soldiers trying to bring the world some, some folk. Renaissance 2011, this is what Woody Guthrie would have done. I believe firmly in my heart that we are, we are really trying to tell a story here. We're trying to tell a great story. But the weird thing is, is that we're trying to also tell our story. And, and we're also sort of a bit it's sort of in the fashion of gonzo journalism. I don't know if you're familiar with gonzo journalism. Gonzo journalism was a, a term that was coined around Hunter S. Thompson and his covering of politics and, and different things like that. And so, you know, me, Chad, and Liz are definitely folk gonzo journalism. We, we are not interested in things we are not interested in. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> and that has led to a really interesting webcast because we have refused to be anybody else's thing, you know? Like, but then every now and again, you find yourself in a situation. We pull into Delfest, and Delfest has heard about us. So all of a sudden, Delfest puts on their website, check out our website through the webcast of Hippie Fiasco Rides Again. Well, that's not right. You know, because they should have said, Chad, Liz, and Nathan are at Delfest right now with a webcast. 
watch them if you want. <laughs> because we cannot represent, I mean, it was all of a sudden, I mean, some of our humor, some of the things, I mean, the, the best thing that happened to us is we ran into Chris Robinson from the Black Crows at an Applebee's late night one night and drank drinks with him and gave him a ride back to the best western and sang, singing him songs on the ukulele in the suburban and, and I mean, that, that was the that was that's what we're looking for. We're not looking for like the, the heart of Saturday afternoon. <laughs> and and I, I think of that again because we're here at Lee, Lee Camp and I know that I met I met this sweet girl when I was smoking a cigarette at a set break and her mom, she's gonna do Leap Camp. And I was thinking on the way up the stairs and they were both so excited and she's really into it. And, and I was thinking up the stairs, it's like, it's so interesting. Like, what if my show had been really weird? I mean, it could have meant, it could have changed her decision about joining Leap Camp, all this kind of stuff. And then of course I look back there and Fat King of Gods is on the list you gave me, so. I don't take full responsibility, but it is an interesting situation. I just want to say that Leap Camp is in no way affiliated with the philosophy of Nathan Moore. I got my own problems. <laughs> and, and Nathan, and, and, and although I proudly claim you, and the, well, the, the philosophy espoused by your act. <laughs> All right, now back to the show. <laughs> if I was a pie, I'd just grow. Yeah. If I was the moon, I'd just shine. If I was the sun, I would rise and if I was a spider's web, I'd pick a window and just tramp up. Not befriend you if I was. If I was a cat. But I can't imagine that. Yeah, I'd be up that tree in seconds black. But I'm none of these, I'm none of that. If I was a girl, I'd just rule the world. If I was a robin, I'd just fly. If I was somewhere, I'd be overseas. From some sad drifting child. And if I was a stone, I'd be unturned. And if I was a lesson, I'd be unlearned. And if I was a cat, I can't imagine that. I'd be on that tree in seconds flat. But I'm none of these, I'm none of them.
I was a prayer, I just let go. But I'm not. So just hold on. If I was tomorrow, I'd be on my way. If I was the yesterday, I'd be gone. Time check. I don't have to do anything. It's time for what the kids sleep. I don't have anything to do with that, right? The bar isn't closing, so they're not kicking me out yet. Oh, kids, I'm gonna miss you. I'm not gonna do a thing different once you're gone, except not be nearly as good. That's great. Do it back. Blow my kiss back. Oh, damn, damn. All right, can we practice again? They blew you a kiss. You returned it. Okay, ready? Yes. All right, I'm saving. 